guys good morning Michelle with Lavis back again so we made some banana bread this morning earlier and I told you that I was gonna make some dinner for my family before I got ready from work it is 10:02. goal is to have this in the microwave and ready to go less than 10 minutes and I wanted to show you how easy your life can be with Tupperware now I'm working a 10 hour shift today so let's get started because I got to get ready okay so the first thing that I'm going to prepare is my middle layer. If you've watched any of my demos before, we're going to use our stack cooker. It comes with a three quart casserole base, one and a half quart casserole middle, one half quart colander. It comes with a lid that we're going to fit Look upside down today. I'm going to use it to make some broccoli. That's what I had in my freezer. It also comes with a cone to make a bun cake, you can make meatloaf, you can make monkey bread. There's all kinds of stuff you can make with this thing. It is insane. Go back and watch my videos. So goal today though, we got to get started on dinner, right? Okay. So what I didn't show you all, you guys were not with me is I talked about using uh, my micro pro grill to sear. So I seared my meat in this while I was doing my dishes. So I want you to show, I want to show you, I did this in my microwave. God, it smells so good. So good. You guys. In five minutes, I just put a little salt, pepper, some garlic lover seasoning, put the grill setting on just like that, popped it in the microwave five minutes, let it sit while I did my dishes. So, which I don't need this anymore, I'll put it in my sink. So, let me just get these bad boys right. Now, these are not fully cooked. I literally only seared them. I did not want to cook them. They're going to cook in my micro pro grill. Now, I'm going to get them right in. To And I am using the um, colander on top of the one and a half quart casserole just because I want to drain off any excess fat. And that's what's cool about the colander is that it'll do that for you. Now see all these delicious juices? Do not throw those away, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pouring those right on top. Those are flavor packed. All those little good little brown bits. And this is no stick. So basically I could almost take, let me see, do I have a paper towel over here? I could take a paper towel. Now I'm gonna wash this. so. But just for demonstration purposes, I want to show you. You could literally take a paper towel and wipe this thing out. It is so easy to clean up. Now, I'm still going to wash it, but I just want to show you that. Anyway, so let me move these little boys around, boys and girls. We're going to get hot in the jacuzzi in just a few minutes. Okay, so got my colander and my casserole ready to go with my steaks in it. Now, I told you earlier... I'm going to put about a half of a diced onion in here. Um, I'll actually, I'm going to use a quarter. But someone on a Food Network show said, if you need it twice, chop it once. Well, that's what we're going to do in our chef prep because I don't have time to sit here dicing up onions and crying. And oh, you know what? I didn't make sure that it was. So there's this little hole in the bottom of your chef prep. You want to make sure it sits on that so it stays kind of stable for you. All right, now let me get my onions in here because I don't have time to be sitting here dicing onions and crying over onions. I gotta get in the shower and I gotta get to work. And my husband is at work right now and they're right in the middle of packing season. He works at um, a cold storage and packing. So I got my chef prep here. Anyway, so when he comes home from work, he's tired. He doesn't wanna try to have to cook dinner for you know, my son who's at school and see how quickly that diced up for me. Just gonna probably give it a little shake, 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 shake. You'll see me do that in my other videos. I'm all about a little shake, I don't know why. I just like that extra dice, see? And I got a ton of onions there, but that's okay because I'm only going to use half. Actually, I have one, one big piece that didn't get chopped up. I'll just pull him out. It's fine. All right, so this is how you sneak vegetables into your food, ladies, so that your kids will eat them. You know, I have to take a shower anyway. I'm just going to use my hands. Sometimes your hands are the best tools in the kitchen. All right, I'm going to sprinkle these onions on. The other half I'm going to put in my bottom layer. I'm going to make some stuffing in my bottom layer. Yes, I just said I'm going to make stuffing in my bottom layer in the microwave in minutes. I'm going to have this meal going. Okay. So I have here, I told you guys earlier, I've got a can of golden mushroom soup and I'm just going to kind of pop it around. Not adding any extra seasoning at this point to my steaks because I already added in salt and pepper and garlic lovers when I seared my steaks in my pro chef grill. Didn't have to go outside to do that. Didn't have to heat up a cast iron skillet, skillet that's going to stick and you got to clean it. Next thing I have is a can of French onion soup. Oh, I didn't turn this so you guys can see what I was doing. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, French onion soup. Pouring that right on top of the golden onion soup. 
just kind of blending that together. The microwave is basically going to do all the work for me, so I don't have to do a lot. Basically, this layer's done. Awesome! So cool, right? Right. Okay. No, I haven't even finished my coffee yet. I need a drink of that. Okay. And I don't even need my cutting board anymore. So I'm moving that out of the way. This is how easy your life can be with Tupperware, I'm telling you. You do not have to be a chef to cook like one. I heard somebody else say that with Tupperware, and I'm going to steal that because it is so 100% true. You do not have to be a pro to cook like one with Tupperware. You can have meals I like. I need my cutting board. I forgot. I'm going to add some celery into my stuffing layer because I like to sneak in vegetables where I can. My son and my husband will not, well, they'll watch this now and they'll be like, you snuck in vegetables, I don't want to eat that. So, shh, don't tell them. If they're not watching, we won't tell them. They've probably seen enough of my demos by now that they're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to watch her do another demo. Aren't they funny? If you guys have ever met my husband and my son, they're quite characters. Okay, so you could just do this with one, but I'm making two. I like to have leftovers so that I can pack my lunch for the next day, or my husband can pack his lunch for the next day. And yes, this casserole will hold all of this food. So just going to give it a little shake there. I have here two ribs of celery that I grabbed out of my fridge smart containers. I didn't want to pull that out because I just have minutes here, guys. I don't have uh, uh, hours to make a video like I normally do. Okay, so if you've ever heard me before, you put your vegetables in naked, dirty, and dry in your fridge marts because you don't want them to get soggy, create moisture. That's what causes them to mold in room. So I'm just going to give these a quick rinse. Quick rinse. Two seconds. So yeah, I've had these, uh, the celery now. I'm just going to give it a quick little, I probably should could have done this in my my little chef prep and save myself a whole bunch of time. But you know what? Tupperware has some great knives too. And I'm dicing this up pretty quickly in a snap with my Tupperware knife. And I'm just kind of getting a quick little dice on these because I want to sneak some extra vegetables into my husband and my son. Anyway, I was telling you guys about the fridge smarts. I had a squirrel moment. You guys, I've had this celery probably going on a month now and it's still crispy. Did you guys hear that while I was cutting the celery? It's still making that nice crisp like here, maybe if I crunch one. Sorry, I'd be a little gross for that. See, I had that like a month. Who else has celery for like a month in their refrigerator? Just sitting in there in their refrigerator drawer. I don't know anybody. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, put in the rest of those onions. Because I don't know about you, but when I have stuffing for Thanksgiving, well, if I had an apple, I'd probably throw that in here too because we always put an apple in ours. I don't know, how do you guys make yours? Do you guys add an apple? That's how my family always has done. So I've got now some diced celery, diced onion. If I had an apple, which I don't, I would throw it in there. And I need about four tablespoons of butter. That's what the recipe calls for for one packet. So really, you should put like eight in here, but that's a freaking ton of butter. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to put about half a stick of butter, and I'm just going to cut it into like some little pieces and put it right in here because we're gonna add some liquid here in just a second. Okay, so about a half a stick of butter. But don't worry guys, this is making, like I said, a bunch of food. You're, I'm having making dinner now for like two days, right? Dinner for tonight, lunch for tomorrow, all ready to go. Okay, don't leave that. Um, Tupperware also makes some pretty awesome towels, guys. <laughs> they absorb super well. They clean up well. You don't need to use harsh chemicals with them if you're going to dust. I love my dust pearls. Okay, three cups of water, um, or uh, I'm using chicken stock. Uh, two cups of chicken stock and one cup of water because that's what I had. So pouring that right on to my stuffing. I'm going to give that a little mix just to make sure everything is incorporated, the veggies sink in, the flavoring sinks in. You could probably add some extra, you know, I feel like that needs a little bit more liquid. I don't like dry stuffing, you know? When we were making stuffing from scratch too, my dad always uh, adds some pet milk. So, you know, just eyeball stuff sometimes, guys, when you're cooking, if it doesn't look right, you know, put your own spin on it. It doesn't have to be perfectly along with the recipe. Sometimes it needs some more liquid. Sometimes it needs to be a little more dry. You know, just 
fill your, fill your way around the kitchen. Make it your own. Add your own ingredients to something that's already store-bought. Make it a little fresher and just update it. All right, you guys, this couldn't be simpler. Check it out. We're stacking the stack cooker. All right, so stuffing in the bottom, smothered steaks in the middle. Got to have a vegetable. And really, we don't at this point. I've got a good amount of vegetables in here. You could do a dessert on top. And I've done that. Uh, if you watch any of my other demos, I have done um, a dump cake in the top. I made a peach cobbler. I don't think I actually did that on a video, though. My, my son loved the peach one. Um, I've done apple. You just put some, like, pie mix in the top of your stack cooker. Any kind. Apple, cherry, blackberry, whatever pie flavoring. Um, I think I'm going to be able to fit this whole bag in here, actually. I'm not going to add any water to this because it's been in the freezer. These are just frozen broccolis, guys. Frozen broccolis. I'm not going to add any water. If I'm doing fresh, I add a little uh, water because I want them to steam. And I put, I, well, you know, I'm not going to add any butter at this point. But I am going to put a little pepper. And you guys know I'm going to add my garlic lovers because I love it. I'm not going to add any salt because hopefully we don't need it with our garlic lovers because I try to stay away from the salt. All right, the rule with the stack cooker is that you're gonna cook your food if you have a brand stinking new fabulous microwave, five minutes per pound. I do not, I have an older microwave. Um, if you've heard me before, I get the privilege of living in my great grandmother's house. My uncle still owns it. He's done some remodeling, so it's not like a 1950 microwave or anything. Do they even have those in 1950? Anyway, let's get this bad boy in the microwave. Okay, so the rule is five minutes per pound of food. So in the bottom, we probably got about a pound or so, pound and a half with our um, stuffing. In the middle, we've got about two pounds with our meat and our um, French onion soup and our golden mushroom soup. And then probably about a pound with our broccoli layer. So we've got about two, one and a half, so three and a half, four and a half. We'll just say, we'll round it up to five pounds. Five times five is 25 minutes. So if you have a newer microwave, probably only gonna take you about 25 minutes. Mine's a little older, so I'm gonna go ahead and set mine for 28. I'm gonna go 28 minutes. Everything's gonna cook. Right here. 28 minutes. Whoops, I said for 20, hold on. 28, and start. Okay, now the time is 10.15. This gives me the perfect amount of time to do this little bit of dishes, get cleaned up, and hop in the shower. So I'm not gonna leave this live video running while I go get in the shower. I'm gonna pause it. Actually, I can't pause it. I have to stop it and come back and show you the reveal when it gets done. So come back in a little bit when you see my not notification that I'm live again to see how this turned out. I'm gonna do my dishes and go get ready for work and pack my lunch because I'm taking this for my dinner tonight for work. So excited. Ooh, and, oh, you guys, I have to show you really quick. Look it. Actually, I'll cut a piece so you can see. So earlier I went live and I made this banana bread, but I added raspberries and blackberries to mine. So mine's got this beautiful, like, little purple color. I was going to take a piece for my, um, I didn't add sugar to this either. I used a sugar, sugar substitute, so you could feel free to add sugar. But, you guys, I have to cut this so you guys can see. It smells so good because I added that lemon zest. I'm gonna take a little piece of this with me for work, but I have to show you guys this bread. We did this in, I don't know if you guys can see it here, in the microwave. Look at how beautiful that is. In a matter of minutes. Now I took pictures of when it came out and a picture of the recipe. I have to try this, you guys. Um, normally I would try not to eat on camera, but um, it smells so good, I can't resist. You guys, you have got to get a micro pro grill. You've got to try these recipes. I can't tell you. I want to shove this whole thing in my mouth right now, but I'm on camera, so I won't. I can't tell you how easy that was, how quick it was. The weather is beautiful outside right now. There's a beautiful breeze. I have my house open. I didn't have to heat it up by heating up my oven. Um, I have dinner going in the microwave right now. I'm not standing over the stove. Not having to stir stuff, flip stuff, grease splatter, gotta clean that up. You guys, between the micro pro grill and my stout cooker and my chef prep, I had this ready to go in minutes and I don't have to stand there and tend to it. I can do my dishes. I can go water the lawn. 
I get, I don't know what's on at 10 o'clock, I don't normally watch TV at 10 o'clock. Wendy Williams, I don't know. And they're like, oh yeah, Wendy's on. I could be sitting there with a coffee with my day off, which I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm watching Wendy Williams while lunch is going or dinner or whatever you guys want to do. If it was evening time, I could be, you know, enjoying time with my husband and my son, not sending over a stove. So you guys, if I would recommend, if someone asked me like, oh, it's not true. There's so many things I would recommend because between my fridge smarts, they have saved me so much money in not throwing out produce, but my micro pro grill and my stock cooker have saved me so much time, so much easy cleanup. Um, I get to spend more time with my family. Uh, I just, and it tastes delicious. The food is delicious in minutes in your microwave. I just can't express to you. If you haven't watched any of my videos, go to my YouTube channel. It's Michelle Wood Lavis. Super easy to find because my last name is totally unique. W-O-O-D hyphen L is in Lincoln, E-Y, V is in Victor, A-S. Go look at my other videos and you can see for yourself how easy this is. Plus there's hundreds of other people who have made demo videos with their stack cookers and micro pro grills bacon in minutes in the microwave without splatter ever. And it doesn't splatter in your microwave either because you've got the grill top on. Anyway, I've talked for another four minutes, you guys. Somebody tell me to shut up. All right, I gotta do these dishes. I'm gonna eat the other piece of this banana bread and I gotta get in the shower because I gotta go to work. But come back in a few minutes. I'll show you how everything turned out, which I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous. All right, you guys, have a blessed day. If you don't make it back, I'll post some pictures of it when it's done. All right. Love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me and being with me. And I pray for each and every one of you to have a blessed and amazing day. Have good health. That your children have good health. That they're back in school. I just, you know, there's so many things going on in the world right now. And we all need some good positivity. So you guys have a blessed and amazing day. Go with good health. And I will talk to you later when I show you how this meal comes out. I gotta go. All right. Bye, guys.